This is the Juno Dunes area. This is the northern part, and over there is the Atlantic Ocean. And here that's the one or uh, there was one over there heading north. There was A1A, and over there is the Atlantic Ocean, right over there. And so this is Juno Dunes Natural Area. And this is what's called Florida Scrub. It's hard to imagine that a dry desert-like habitat exists in tropical South Florida, but the scrub ecosystem acts much like a desert. Under a nutrient-poor sandy soil is a tough place for plants and animals to thrive. Soil palmetto oaks and other hardy plants have developed specialized adaptations to help conserve water and survive in this harsh climate. Elevated scrub habitat is one of the highest natural features in Palm Beach County. This is 44 feet above sea level. It's one of the highest points in this in Palm Beach County. Ancient dune, part of an ancient dune ridge. Start walking in the Juno Dunes natural area. That's heading east, and I'm heading south. And that's heading that's west. And over there is the town of Juno Beach. And over that way is the scrub area that I'll be walking on. And this road is the trail on this where I came from little picnic area, a little canopy area right over there. That's where I came from. Walking on the area. Stuck in a thunderstorm, this big dark cloud over there as you can see. So, taking a hike, this is one of the last South Florida hikes I'll be on. And this is all Florida scrub. And you can hear you can hear thunder in the distance. So you can hear it. And no joke, no your oaks, sand scrub oak, myrtle oak, and Chapman oak. This is all Florida scrub, this is all palmettos, and all kinds of funny looking plants. in tropical South Florida. Very dry, thirsty land. Walking on it. On this good land. It's natural, very amazing adaptations. It's called the love vine. Which is this thing, it's called the love vine. Don't associate plants with competition, but different species are constantly competing for natural resources. Natural native vine, nearest competitor. Completely engulf its host, making its access to sunlight and photosynthesis. So that's what's called a love vine. Yellow, gold, and green looking plant. That's the love vine. There's some of it right now. All the love vines. The love vine. So that is love vine. Here's a good, better picture of it. And this is the trail I'm on. Oh, love vine. South Florida trails that I may be on for a long time. You can take this here, you go right to the beach, across the highway into the beach. But don't tread on the Hercules Club, native tree in the citrus family. I think logs, thorns along its oak, along its trunk. It's a nice little shaded area. It's 
more and get a little shaded out. Some crickets. More shade there, we go in there and get some shade. These raccoons live in there and see skunk wall. That looks like a neat tree to sit on. Really interesting oak. This is a sea grape tree, I believe. I believe that's a sea grape tree. <laughs> Pretty sure with these distinct circular leaves. I think that's a sea grape, if I'm not mistaken. More crickets. Exotic species. Very dry, dry dirt sand. And cabbage palm. Meadows. Hear the thunder? And I'm entering a shaded area very soon, but right there. Shaded area. And some people coming. And you see some gopher tortoise sign. I didn't see any gopher tortoise on this trail, but that's what they look like. And there's bobcat footprints, coyote, and raccoon, which live here. And here's a family with some boys. And there's an access trail. And there's a nice shaded area. Look at this. A lot of graffiti written on it. The damage in the tree. And this is like a tropical jungle right here. Generally, some of the Indian tribes that used to live here, Florida, Florida's lost tribes, Pensacola, Appalachia, the Gua, the Timucua, the Patano, Ocal, Topo, Tocobanga, Ayas, Jaga, Maya Amy, Calusa, Tequesta, Metacumbe. And some of the, what they used to eat, the cabbage palm was talking about, the indigo berry, the sea grape. This is like a tropical jungle right now in this area. Very dark and very shaded. Very nice and cool. Fun here. That's where I came from. Look at this tree. There's the tourist tree, Gumbo Limbo. Gumbo Limbo tree.
Another gumbo limbo. Gumbo limbo tray. And soon entering the parking area. You know Dune's natural area. That was the hammock. This came out of. Didn't feed the animals and didn't bring gypsy. That's it. That's the end of the trail. Can't have any bikes either. Here's the all creatures, great and small. Jordan Dunes has them all. That's it. You enjoyed the video.